Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can place three paragraphs next to each other using CSS. So as you notice right here, I have a div right here with an ID. I named it my div and right here I have three paragraphs, alright? So it says my first paragraph, second and third. Alright, so I'm going to type my CSS in the head here inside of the style tag. But even if you have an external sheet, that's fine. That will still work. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to select this div. So I'm going to type in hash my div. So that's the name of the div. And I'm going to change the background color. So background color. Let me change it to goldenrod. Alright, so just we'll see what's going on there. So now we have it there. And now the second thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the display. So I'm going to set the display to grid because it's going to make things easier, right? Then I'm going to say grid dash template dash columns, all right? Then I'm going to say auto three times auto, all right? So auto, auto, and auto. So now you'll notice that we have three columns and you see right here, I have three paragraphs next to each other. So now we have the paragraph next to each other. Now I want to add some spacing around it. So I'm going to say hash my div. All right. So I, this is a new selector. So my div. And I'm going to say P because I want to select the paragraphs. And I'm going to open my braces. And I'm going to say, for example, padding 20 pixels. So let's say uh, 20 pixels is too much probably. But let's see how it goes. So 20 pixels. And you see, um, it looks nice actually. Uh, it's not that bad. And if we view this on a web browser, it's going to look like this. All right. So it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to remove the background color. All right. So now we have no background there. Or if you want, you can add the background there. It's up to you. But I want to add some border to this paragraph. So so to these paragraphs actually so border I can say for example two pixels solid white so you see what's going on and you know the so the padding is too much and now if we view this on a web browser it's gonna look like this so here's how it it's gonna look like and now if I want to add an image right here well, I can do that basically by going inside of the paragraph and using the image tag and I can say source and paste my image there but it will be a huge image so it's fine uh, you know we can come here and resize our image so I can say for example hash my div paragraph then comes the image then I can say for example uh, width 100 pixels by 100 pixels so height 100 pixels 100 pixels so you see I have an image there so now I'll be able to center the image by saying margin dash left auto and margin dash right auto and display block you can see the display to block and you'll notice that we'll have a perfect image there in the center so I'll be able to, you know, add more images. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to basically, uh, you know, just copy the image and repeat the image. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to copy this image and place it here inside of this paragraph and this paragraph. So let's view it on our web browser. Now, this is what we have. You'll notice that we have three paragraphs. But our paragraphs, you see, when I zoom out, our paragraphs are aligning to the left. What I can do is that basically I can go to the paragraph selector and I can say text align. So text align center. And now if I save it and if I refresh it, you'll notice that we have three paragraphs next to each other with three images. All right. So if I want some little space here, you know, between the image and 
the text, what I can do is that I can basically add margin top to the images. So I'm going to the image selector and I can say margin dash top and I can say 10 pixels. Now if I save this and view it, you'll notice that there is some space here. So we have some space there. And now the only thing that I don't like is the background color. So let's change that to a different color. Let's actually get rid of it and refresh it. So you'll notice that we have three paragraphs that are next to each other with the images. So, well, basically this is how you add three paragraphs next to each other with three images. All right, everybody. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next videos.